course GPM carries all these parts that we are installing in red, orange, blue, black, silver, and gray, I think. Anyway, so. We got orange and red. In order to get to the steering bell assembly, you need to remove your skid plate here. You're going to need to remove the bumper with two screws here. One. And two, which releases that piece. And then there's two, one here. The longer ones go here. And one on the other side. And the short ones go in the other piece that we just did. So, with that done, you can pry this off. It's got a couple little edges here. You just make sure you loosen those. Um, you have this plate in here. which is stuck down for whatever reason. Okay, so I got a tool that might help us get this off. Perfect. Look at how smart I am. Okay. <laughs> and then the next thing you got, after you remove your battery tray clamp, you got to remove your large skid plate. So Dylan, you can do that for me okay. if you don't mind. Okay, so I got that off now. Okay. Lots of dust in there. Put all the screws with it there. Okay. Next, you need to remove or detach your A arms. Um, I'm gonna do these first. I am going to take that screw and that screw out, so that way I can pop these two off, which will let me in here, and then I will finish up with this. Those ones you need to keep because they don't you don't have no replacements for that stuff. Yes. Go okay, ahead. and then right, and then this. I put a yes. So get pop that off. Okay, so now right here and here, there's two screws. You guys probably can't see them. Right there and there, I'm gonna take and those here. screws off. And here. Here. And here. here. Loosening those first two it takes off mm -hmm. your pin lock cover. And if you grab the pins from. You need a really small bit from that side, buddy. Probably easier if you put it on a screwdriver too, so you can get more force. It won't go in. So you can just push your pins a little bit from the back side here. Hold on. Let me see. There is just a tiny okay. hole back there, guys, so that. The, the ends stick out just yeah, enough so you can grab get, a pliers. You probably want to get your smallest bit to do that. One pin, 
so that we got three to go. Top pins in your A arms have a pin lock and a screw to hold them. pin lock and then we're going to pull these pins. Oops, sorry son. And sometimes what I'll do before I reinstall these pins is I'll put a little WD-40 on them so they slide in and out a little easier. There. Yeah. Now that that's all released. Oh. Now we need to just quickly take off these two steering link screws right there. Now that that's all released, can I have that screw please? Yeah. Now we're gonna tip the truck right side up, put it down gently so you don't break any of these loose parts. And there are four screws, two here and two here, that you need to take out. So again, there's two different sizes here too, guys. Uh, the ones closest to the cockpit of the truck are longer. And the shorter ones are up at the front towards the front of the bumper. That one's still in. Okay, so once those are all loosened guys, you want to hold the bottom of your truck otherwise everything's going to fall apart and flip it over again. And now you can take the, oh Dylan forgot, there's this plate here also yes. that comes off the front, right here. And then you can slide this whole thing off. Okay. Now before you pull too hard you'll want to loosen this screw right here also. The uh, steering link. So that you can pull this whole mechanism out. This is your uh, drive shaft piece. You want to take that off. I put the grub screw back in here so I don't lose it while I'm doing the rest of the work. So now that that part's out, we'll just slide the truck aside here so we have a little room to work on this. Now basically we're just going to rebuild the uh, new steering belt. So we're going to remove the stock steering crank with these two screws up top here. So one here and one here. Now guys, you have to reuse the bearings. They don't give you new bearings. Yeah. Maybe bearing wheel. And you have to reuse some of your screws. There's also a washer right on top. Don't lose that washer, you're gonna want it. And again, there will be a washer on top of this one too. Don't lose it. Okay. 
There's a steering wheel. There's a steering belt. Now, on the bottom side of your steering horn, or steering bell crank, sorry. I got it mixed up because I said steering horn. Yeah. These two screws here. These two right here you are going to want to reuse. They have a shim on them, which makes them roll better inside the new setup. They give you another set of screws, but don't use them because it'll make your um, new setup bind. So, like I said, you got to reuse your bearings. So, one. Hold on, buddy, they're pretty dirty. We're going to clean them. I was just going to say, you want me to go do that? You just need a rag, bud. That's all you need. I know. They're just dusty. So you'll need to reuse your bearings. So we're just before we before we put it back together, we're gonna clean the bearings and put a little bit of high speed bearing oil on them. Okay. Just so that they run a little smoother once they're back in. Okay, so I'm just gonna rebuild these now. Put your bearings back in. Like so. Keep this rig in my truck. Nice and handy. Little washer and a screw um, because I don't, they don't give you new screws for on top of these. bit there. Don't over tighten these guys. Nice and snug. There we go. Oh, there's that. This goes this way obviously so that your drive shaft has space to maneuver. So those go there and then you need to drive your screws from the back side which they do give you new ones of oh no sorry they don't these are the these are the ones I was telling you to reuse here instead because of that shim it'll actually glide better <clears throat> but now we're going into metal aluminum or metal metal to metal aluminum to metal um, guys in the RC hobby already know this. For you guys out there that are new to the hobby, Loctite. It's a little bit of Loctite. It'll lock them tight. That's why it's called Loctite. And we will uh, leave a link in the description for some of that too if you want. If you don't use Loctite metal to metal, the screws will actually just wiggle out, vibrate out. So. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're putting metal to screws into metal, metal into metal, metal on metal. Use a little bit of Loctite. Use a little Loctite. Down. 
So, there's the new setup. Bell all in. <clears throat> okay. Now we have a new link here, which goes there. And then the horn goes there. I need the a other screw, one. son. Okay. And you need to screw this one. So again, this screw will be the flat cap so that it glides underneath here. Um, and again, you need Loctite because you're going metal into metal. Dylan's going to give me a hand. Just going to put a little Loctite on the end of that screw. Perfect. I can give you a couple hands. <laughs> that one's flush now so that's that these two spots are for your links obviously here and here that's gonna go this way in the truck for your bell so you want to take your bell your <clears throat> this way your teeth are here so, sorry, the steering horn. Thank you for reminding me, Dylan. I got <laughs> way too much going on. You're going to want this in the bottom hole. And of course, they give you a replacement here. Again, this is going into metal, so we need some Loctite. Always try to put the Loctite on the end because that's where it's going to actually... Yeah, I kind of was in a hurry there. Now, they do give you a, re, a little screw here. It's a, not a ball cap, but a, I can't remember what to call these ones. It go well, you got the flat cap, ball cap which is the round one and then I can't remember what they call that but anyway this is gonna go through here which again this is just to squeeze this to make sure that your gears on your servo don't you want to put lock on get your stripped servo. out they also give you a replacement screw to actually go to your servo okay but before we get to that part you need to Release the servo mount. Servo mount. Put the two mil. There's one screw here and one screw back here. which has been shown in another video where we replaced this Savox steering servo. We'll link that in a card in your left hand corner. Sorry, right hand corner if you're watching. You know, it's up here. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere up there. You guys want to check that out? I think it's over that way. So you just got to loosen this guy and then take off your stock horn. Don't use a drill here, guys, if you are using a drill. Again, some of the things we tell you guys are not for you guys who know, it's for the guys who don't know, because we assume there is some new people to the channel, or to the hobby, for that matter. Or both. That's right. Okay, so now that that's off, we are going to Put our drive shaft back on. Hopefully, I'm still on the camera. Dylan's leaning more and more and more towards me. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So, we're going to put our drive shaft back on. Or 
It's actually our out drive for the drive shaft. So it's peaceful. Again. So now, once that's done, we can slide careful with the horn and slide this guy back in. We just gotta find the right spot for the out drive to join up. So we may have to turn it a little bit. And you can turn it here. There we go. So slide that back on. Now we can attach our horn like that and use the new screw that they gave us. We're going to put that into the horn, into the servo. Once that's done, we can tighten this little side screw I was talking about, which is just going to squeeze that horn a touch so that it doesn't strip your servo or your teeth on the horn. All right, now, you're in here. And that's that. Now you can start. So the horn is now in, it's all secure. Everything's done. You can start reassembling this. So we will start with the bottom A arms. Like so. So we need pins. We need this metal plate. This is what I was talking about. It goes on the front here. And we need the long pins. It's also nice to have a small hammer. You can do one side at a time here guys so that you're not trying to hold a thousand things at once. Just make sure that your CVD drive shafts go into this place before you put this down. And then if you have a small hammer, you can just tap these in.
ones for the UDRs, it's a surprise for you guys. So if you want to see that, maybe consider subscribing. That way you can come back and watch it. Until next time, get, get out, out and play. play. See, see you later. later.